XBAR for Infor CRM. And so what is XBAR then? Well, put simply, XBAR is uh, an Outlook plugin that sits on the right hand side of your Outlook. But what's special about it is that it offers you a view into your CRM system from within your inbox. Uh, we can also interact with CRM directly through Outlook and we can put records in and update records straight from here without having to ever log in. So how does it work then? What's it showing me at the moment? Well, if I navigate to this email up here, because I've selected an email from John Abbott over here, what it's done is it's looked at CRM and identified that this email is from a contact that I've got in the system called John Abbott. Uh, so how does it actually help me? What does it tell me about John? Well, it tells me who he is and why I care about him. So we know just from looking at this that he's the president of Abbott Limited and he's important because of these totem icons down here. Now, what they tell me about him is that in this example, he's got uh, current activities. So that could be upcoming meetings, upcoming phone calls or things that I need to do for him. Uh, moving along, we've got overdue activities. Uh, so these are things that I should, should have actioned in the past, but haven't yet. So I should really get on and do those. Uh, moving on, we've got recent history over here. So if I've had an account review with John recently, or he's asked me to do something for him or schedule something, and, and I've put that in as a note, that will be in there and I can review those. Uh, further on, we've got open opportunities. So I can review all of the open current opportunities that haven't yet been won or lost for John. So upcoming stuff that I need to talk to him about. And finally, we've got open tickets over here. So these are issues that I need to bear in mind when I'm talking to John. That he may ask questions about these, so I should, I should really know about these before he asks them. Um, so I can access each of these just by uh, clicking on the totem itself, and that will take me to a list of all the things that I need to review in here. And I can, I can click on those, and that will take me to the detail of those, so I can review the information all from within my inbox. Now the other powerful bit about each individual record that we've got here is the dashboard. So what the dashboard shows me is uh, a summary, if you will, of the opportunities that I've got for John at the moment. So there's one open opportunity I can see here, there's one open ticket, and that open opportunity that we've got adds up to 121,000 in total. So that helps me bear in mind how much each of a total of the opportunities is worth when I talk to John. Okay, well this is great information, I can see a lot of stuff about John, but what can I actually do? What can I put into the system from here? Well, if I click that button over there, there's a number of things I can do. I can update the contact record, so if John changes address, I can update his address directly from Outlook. I can add a new note against John, uh, I can schedule a new to-do, or the ones I'm probably going to be using most are the meetings and phone calls. So I can schedule an account review directly from here. Or if I know that I need to call him next week to talk about something, I can do that from here as well. Uh, if John tells me while, I'm, while, I, while I've got an email from him here that he's got an issue, I can create a new ticket directly from the email. And if he says he wants to buy something from me, whether that be uh, products or services, I can create a new opportunity for that here. Now, some of the really helpful features of uh, XBAR are the ability to drag and drop almost anything that I get emailed. So in this example, uh, Paul has sent me his address detail. So what I'll do, I'll drag that information over to XBAR and it's gonna offer what I want to do. I can create a new lead or a new contact. Uh, so if I click new contacts, what that's gonna do is it's gonna pre-populate this form with all of the information that I have over here. So really, the quickest way of putting any data into CRM now is just to get someone to email you their details, which is an incredible time saver in uh, the modern world. Okay, um, so we can drag and drop stuff. We can use the icon here to do stuff as well. Um, one of the other really helpful bits that I can do, uh, if I go back to John's record up here, if I navigate to the detail record of John, what that's going to let me do is review all of the details that John has. So I can look at his address, I can look at his activities, everything within one screen, as if I would do in CRM anyway. Now, the other helpful bit I can do, I can take any files that are in email attachments over here, drag them to the attachments uh, section down here, and it'll, it's going to attach it to John's record in CRM. 
and if I want to I can click on that attachment and that's going to let me look at that attachment all from within my Outlook. Okay, so we've talked about the drag and drop functionality, we've talked about the ability to interact with CRM through the, uh, the quadrant icon, and we've talked about saving attachments and all the information that we can view. The other important thing that we can do through here is we can look up records as well. So if I want to look up an account or contact that I know uh, is in the system, I can look that up through here and as we can for John, we can view all of the information about uh, his attachments, upcoming meetings, past meetings, phone calls, so on and so forth. So just from this we can see that XBAR is a really powerful tool that's going to help us review all of the information about a contact quickly, or indeed a lead, or an account. Uh, it's going to let us put information in quickly, whether it be a file, or a whole email, or text. Um, and there you go, that's uh, a quick overview of the power of XBAR for Info CRM. I hope that's been helpful, and uh, if there's anything else you need, uh, do get in touch with one of us at Colleague Picard. Thanks a lot.